Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Dr. Zainab. I was asked this question on Telegram. They asked for certain questions in the reading section of EFP August 2021. So let's start with number one. Number two, actually, in the reading section of EST August 2021. All right. So number two, it says, the author uses the phrase, I should hope so, set off by commas to do what? So I'm going to read over here. It says, the carrier's horse was the laziest horse in the world, I should hope and shuffled along with his head down as if he liked to keep people waiting to whom the pack, pack is it, packages were directed. All right, so why did the author say, I should hope so? Atamanna dharik. Atamanna in this horse is what is actually the laziest horse, but he's not quite sure if this is true or not. So that's why your answer here is A, acknowledge, a limit in familiarity. Okay. All right. Um, number nine was the next question. It says, which of the following can be inferred about piggity? All right. How can you describe piggity? If you look at line 73 to 74, it says, here's my am, screamed piggity, growed out of knowledge. The word growed is not a word. This isn't a word. Okay, somebody who is not uh, educated would say growed. And screaming is not really a ladylike action. All right, so it's not somebody that's sophisticated. Piggity is not somebody who is sophisticated. And so that goes along with B, she is a simple woman of low education. In number 11, it's a uh, number 10. It says, which of the following best describes the main character's secondary reaction to Yarmouk? So I have to figure out what was the first reaction. The first reaction was in page was uh, is found in line fifty three. All right. It says that this is the narrator's reaction. Like toast and water, it would have been nicer. Toast and water are really. Um, it's not something that's really sophisticated. It's not something that is very tasty. It could have been nicer. All right. So they don't really like the place at the very beginning. And then the narrator doesn't like the place at the very beginning. And then in line 64, it says, it says I felt that I had done so busy a place and injustice. So they said that, and then the narrator says that they had expressions of delight and so on. So at first, they didn't like the place. Afterwards, they liked it a lot. And so that's why your answer here is D. It seemed to him that he had misjudged Yermo. He did an injustice. In number 11, it says the main idea of the passage is. So I'm going to look at the passage. Um, it talks about Flint and where it can be found. And then here in this line, it says, this is certainly a very weak conclusion. And then it comes to another con conclusion. And so that's why your answer here is D, refute the transformation. Um, no, sorry, not D. Your answer is going to be B, present. Present the history of the ancient Egyptian flint based on a refutation. This is a refutation. And this is the history of the ancient flint, all right, in the passage. All right. Um, number 21, it says, in passage one, the author alludes to which of the following? Alludes means like mentions, okay, makes an allusion, that means mentions. If you look at lines 29 to 32, it says, in a very short time, the believer in bare knowledge by inheritance only will begin to see evidences of new thought. That means the bear can actually learn new things. The knowledge that the bear has is not just inherited. And so that's why for number 21, your answer is A, a bear's intelligence is not purely innate. It's not born with intelligence only. It can learn new things. In number 34, it says, when the author talks about death, 
in the second paragraph, what best describes the tone? What's the author's attitude? It says here, innumerable dismal stories, very bad stories we have heard every day on this account, on the deaths. And then the narrator starts speaking about the different deaths. A man and a woman drops off and people at first, they um, run towards them and then afterwards they stay away from them. But it's very grave, very sad, very scary, all right, the smell, but detached. It's not subjective. It's not, he's not talking about what he went through. It's just what, what, what he has seen. So he's detached, he's not involved. And so that's why your answer is A. Um, number 47 it says, according to the passage, why is the diamond special? Okay, diamond is a very special stone. All right, why is the diamond special? All right, if you look at lines 36 to 40, right, it says here, this divergence or refraction is greater in some stones than in others. And to it, the diamond, as an example, owes its chief charm. So because of the refraction, the diamond is so charming. And so that's why for number 47, your answer is C. When compared to other stones, it has a high level of refraction when light passes through it. All right. Um, finally, number 49, it says, according to the passage, what could be said about the data presented in the graphic? If you notice that the data here, it varies, okay? And so that's why your answer here is B, the data, it can vary, okay? Actual numbers may vary, all right? And also you'll find this in lines um, 92 to 95, 119. We'll talk about how these vary. There's an anomaly, um, line 107, talks about how they vary, they give different results. And so that's why your answer is B. Thank you for your questions.